Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gold Rush, aka Hydranir. The game is pretty simple. I take my shovel, I stab the ground. I take that dirt, I put it in the water, I take the brush, I clean the dirt, I then get an iron nugget. I run a miniature triathlon, smack it down on the old table, and I can sell it for money. Or in this case, C3. I can then drop the money in here and eventually be able to buy other stuff like this bed to let me sleep through the night. But for right now, it's time to do a bit of panhandling and hopefully I just keep getting more and more rare material. Or, you know, find a way to automate this so I don't have to continually do it like this. Oh wait, no, don't roll away. Thank you. And dropped. Oh, no way, I got a gold. I don't know how much that's worth, but I'll find out here in the end. I wanna get a few buckets of this done before I actually go to sell. That way I'm not running around wasting all my hard-earned stamina. And in you go. All right, one more pan and then I'll go. Be something cool. Or nothing. Oh man, it was just a stupid little iron ingot. <laughs> That's fine. I should be able to drop all these in there and then just carry the bucket with me. They're not gonna like fall out if I move really rapidly. Hermes <laughs> says, no, they were still in there. Nice. All right, game. How much can I get for all of this? 54 gold? Don't mind if I do. Or I guess 54 coin. Perfect. All according to plan. I don't know if it's actually a good idea to store it in here or not either, but this feels like as safe a place as any. <laughs> now, if I wanted to speed this process up, I think buying an extra pan or two would be a great idea. So I've got my money in there. If I just hit buy, can I take them? Yes, and it takes away from my money. Cool. The whole reason being, though, is now I have three pans filled with water, which means I should just be able to click and drop three very fast times and then scrub all three of them. Why is this one glowing? What are you? A shard? Yep, nope, got that right. There you go. Oh, and I also got an uncut emerald. Well, that's handy. Hopefully that'll be worth a lot of money. And can I drop the bucket and then just dump the water into these? Yes, yeah, so I don't even need to change buckets. Wow, I think I have just developed my my speed running tech. The profits are on their way. Oh, and this is an uncut ruby. This should be the most profitable run that I've had so far. Granted, I've only had one run, so <laughs> you know what? Guess that makes sense. Let's get three more buckets of mulch down with three more scrub a dub dubs. Is this three gold? What a three is going on right now? Give me you and time to go get paid. After playing around with the concept for about 20 minutes, I think I understand what I need to make. Sell this for 70 coins, which is not as much as I actually thought I'd get. Wait, what? Why is this shard still in here? Oh well, it can hang out. Ooh, and I combined my money and now I have 104, aka five hydro coins. In that case, let me buy another bucket along with what I assume I'll need eventually. And sell. Perfect. Dang, that is expensive. For now, oh, I just learned that I have a customizable thing. I don't know. Just place it there? Oh, that makes sense. So now as tedious as this rinse and repeat process is, almost quite literally, I've discovered something that I think might help me out. And I got another shard too, so you can come over here, friend. Because I noticed when I pick up an iron, it tells me that it can be melted in a crucible into a bar, which I'm assuming will increase my money earning. And I noticed when I pick up my shovel, it tells me that the deeper I dig, the better the gold. Nice. So if I just keep stabbing into this just absolutely abyssal hole, I feel like eventually I should be getting larger nuggets of gold right? Or at least one can only hope. Actually, kind of crazy that I'm able to just keep digging in this one random spot. But you know what? I accept it greatly. Where are the rare resources now? Probably on their way. But let me go sell these and see what I can get. 76 coins. Don't mind if I do. Thank you, game. Oh, man. I think I just threw the coins in the wishing well trying to put them in this buck. I hate this game. It's fine, I just need one gigantic gold nugget to get all my money back that I just lost. Or at least, I'm hoping that's how it would work. And it sounds like I'm at the bottom of this mine, so the odds are better than ever. All right, game, please give me 64 coins. You know what, I'll accept that for now. Okay, there's 125. Now, I noticed there was a pickaxe right here, which sounds like it's about to be fun. Gimme. I only have three coins left. But it says it's used to dig the terrain fast, so I'm assuming, like, oh, wow. Yeah, this is fast indeed. I don't really get gold or anything from this, but I bet I could get to the bottom of the mine this way. Oh, and what do you know? I just did. Is there like any way for me to just make a perfect ramp or staircase? A hey, shop, you got anything? A wooden box? You know, I might actually be able to do something with this. In which case, it's time to get digging once more. And get these shards out of here. I can't sell them. They're useless to me right now, dang it. Go in the shard bucket, jerk. <laughs> Wait, did I just call a resource a jerk? Maybe I need to go outside a little more often than I actually do. I think I just need this one last little bit. Get the shard out of here. I hate you. 
Oh, and I got clout ore? I think I could really use some more of that. All right, give me my money, because I'm hoping with these boxes that I'd kind of be able to make a staircase. However, maybe the hole that I dug has already screwed me over. <laughs> and I've got five boxes placed down. I wonder if I can just kind of get this to become somewhat of a ramp. Or maybe I should just clear the way and have myself like an actual wooden jump up machine. Yeah, this kind of works. I also have a nice little cave down here now. Now let me go see if this is actually worth it. Take dirt from the very, very bottom, do immense parkour into the bucket. Dirt from the bottom, immense parkour, bucket. All right, now clean. What do we have? I've got a gold ore, one uncut sapphire, and a normal iron ore. Why do I feel like I just got scammed? You know what? This is fine because I already know what I need to end up buying next. Wait, this bit of gold looks a lot bigger than this bit of gold. Oh, it actually made a difference. What am I doing? I need to keep going down here then. Oh yeah, these are just huge chunks. I'm sorry for ever doubting you, game. I should have known you wouldn't lie to me. I've just been so hurt before. All right, this has been three little back and forths. How much money am I about to be able to earn now? 211? Don't mind if I do. The next thing I noticed is there's an improved shovel. Not sure what it is, but I will be buying it. Gimme. Also, I think if I wanted to get into the automation of this game, I need to buy an intake pipe. Come down too, friend. And thank you. The intake pipe needs to go into the river as it starts to shoot out tiny water droplets, it looks like. And now I've got a brand new shovel. Does it just dig more dirt by chance? Maybe it's dirt from further away. Either way, I will be using it. Oh yeah, that looks like there's a lot more dirt in it. So what do I get out of the big dirt piles. Oh, two ores each? Oh yeah, that is, oh man, this is a great system. Let me get one more good little pull and then go turn in all of these for some sweet, sweet profit. $320 to be precise. Thank you. 473? Man, I am good. Now I just need a little few multiple water pipes. We can do four for 88. I think that'll work for now. So they just have to go right across. And I guess I could just use this wooden cart to help transport these actually, couldn't I? What are the odds that I lose a lot of this while I'm traveling? <laughs> and I think that actually worked without any issue. Huh, also looks like I might have made a little bit of a miscalculation. Nothing a little hard work can't fix that and you know, my immense wealth. I just wish there was a little bit of a faster way to buy stuff than, well, just throwing it onto the random wooden piece. 200 coins? I think what I can do is have it turn this direction, carry straight for a little bit, and then turn in. And then if I use a T-block, it drips twice. Yes, perfect. Because then I'm fairly certain when I place my two elbows, I can take this pickaxe and just kind of start digging holes down. And now I've got some water that hits the earth. Well, although that doesn't really look like it's hitting it super bucket catching friendly. In that case, time for a quick fix. I just gotta attach them a little further in. Is this a bit better? Yeah, this feels like it's gonna be better. And I'll just throw the rest of my tools down the holes. This'll work out fine. But now if I'm not mistaken, can't I just dig dirt, place in, dig dirt, place in, and then immediately clean it and it gets water back 100%. Oh, this is much faster than everything that I was just doing. It's also extremely easy to just dump ores in. Everything about this is just so much easier. Also just look at how fast this is by the time that I actually place the stuff and then clean the stuff, pick up my shovel, again, place it right back in. It is truly a perfect system. I think the big downside is all the freaking crystal shards that I keep getting and have no purpose for. <laughs> but I've clearly cracked the code there. What else can I do? Selling for 600 points? <laughs> That's crazy. Wait a second. Could I just drastically improve this system by placing a few more of those guys? And just like that, four bucket system set, which means the cleaning process is about to get sped up greatly. Oh man, oh man. The next morning. Oh, beautiful sunshine. How I love you. And you know what else I love? Having a thousand coins. Thank you. Look at the stack. Dump all of those into there. That is wow. All right, time to set up my new plan now. Small furnace, small furnace furnace, as well as I'll need a crucible to go with it, a casting mold, anvil, and a hammer. And you know what? I'm rich enough. Give me the mining helmet. 800 bucks, chump change. I hate how this looks. I'm not using this whatsoever. Go back, <laughs> go back there. I don't want you anymore. <laughs> what a waste. First time. It's kind of crazy how everything manages to actually fit in one tiny little wooden wagon. But hey, I'm not here to question it. Yoink. Come here, wooden wreck. So what I think I need to do is clear a nice little space for myself in here. It kind of hurts thinking about how many resources I'm just not going to be able to collect right now, but that's fine. Now I can just start dropping everything in. Provided it won't break, and I don't think it will. Wait a second, didn't I buy two furnaces? Why do I only have one right here? Ah, uh, fine, I'll buy another one. Jerks. 
So now I think what I have to do is just clean a couple of thingies out. And then I'm assuming I just put the gold in the metal pot and then the big pot in the furnace. When do I know if it's done? Does something happen? Oh, I picked it up. I feel like I picked it up too soon. Oh no. Go back in there for a second, I guess. And I can do the same with iron. And then you go in the furnace as well, buddy. Okay. I just heard some noise, which I'm assuming means this is done. Can I then pour it into... Yes, I can. Now I have a bar of gold, which I then place on an anvil and then beat it up maybe or something no it's not how this works that's fine i want to go sell my bar of gold and see how much money i'm about to get it sells here for 155 that was two things it just had a longer wait process and it mentioned the stock market but i don't think i can sell anything here at least not unless i make a sword wow there's like a whole new system i need to learn huh oh maybe i need this grinding wheel let me get one of these two because I'm assuming this is also done. Yes, it is. Now, if I set the iron bar on the anvil, can I shape it into something by chance? I just keep hitting this and nothing happens. Is there like a crafting recipe that I'm not aware of? Probably. Put that down. Do I have a ruby or something in here anywhere? Oh yeah, I have an uncut emerald right here. Can I grind this into an actual emerald? Yes. All right, we have some stuff to test. I sold my gold bar for quite a high amount. I can sell my iron bar for 163. That's not even that much less than gold. And I can sell this emerald for 45. That's a lot when you think about the fact it was literally one ore for it. Let me dump all of that into there. I have a thousand dollars ready to purchase whatever I want. As for right now, I just feel like I need to clean this a whole bunch. And I've learned however many ores you put in affects the size of the ingot. In which case, how much do you think this pile of 10 gold is gonna be worth? <laughs> oh, my profits are just starting, huh?